Welcome. Today we're looking at useful technology. In front of you, you can see an image that's painted by an artist, and this artist is completely colorblind. So, how has he managed to paint this picture? I'll give you a minute, have a think about it, and then we'll have a look at how this has been done. So, in terms of thinking about how this artist has managed this, he's completely colorblind. So, how is it that he's managed to paint this picture that is so colorful? The person that we're looking at is this guy, Neil Harbison. And he was born with a rare condition that causes him to have complete color blindness. He sees the world in a gray scale and basically just sees different colors of gray. So different shades of gray. He didn't want to see that anymore. So in 2004, with the help and aid of a few colleagues, he developed the iBorg and it's a device that enables him to translate color into sounds. He's best known for obviously having this antenna planted into his school and he's one of the first people, if not the first person, to actually have on his passport technology being shown in his picture. Okay, In the UK, technology can't usually be evident on the passport, but in terms of Neil's case, he was adamant that it should be because it's a part of him. So, instead of seeing the world in grayscale, as we've mentioned, he can now hear a symphony of colours. He can listen to faces, he can listen to paintings, and you'll see in a few slides time, there's a video whereby he actually has the ability to represent people's faces as different sounds. And these can be heard as different frequencies. He can also view paintings, and listen to how the painting actually looks and perceive that visualization. So, how does it actually work? In simple mechanisms, there's a sensor and it detects a color, of which then an electronic chip can convert this into a sound wave. So, in a bit more information, the sensor detects the color frequency and this transmits it to a chip that is installed in the back of his head. The chip then converts the frequency of the color into a sound wave and each color corresponds to a slightly different frequency sound. These sound waves then travel through the skull using bone conduction and eventually will reach the auditory system where they can be obviously deemed to see what frequency that note is. In terms of a bit more information, if you have a QR scanner on your phone, if you scan this image, it will take you through to a little brief video that looks at Neil and the fact that he corresponds himself as being a cyborg. If you freeze the video here and scan the image shown. So, technology like this is obviously life-changing. If you imagine yourself in that scenario, I'm sure you'd rather see the world in colour than you would in grayscale. So, linking science and technology will transform the future. And it will transform the future for not just one life, but many lives. So, in terms of this case, this is quite a unique case, but there's lots of things out there 
where we link science and technology and they completely change the lives of individual people and that can, can change the life of a complete family. The next little bit that I would like to share with you is a talk by Neil himself and it looks at obviously how he sees people around him, how he sees painting around him and it also shows you some examples of actually how he can hear the different colours around him. If you freeze the video here, scan the QR code and it will take you to the video link. If you'd like to see more, then you can always follow Neil on his Instagram page. The Instagram link is shown at the at, and it's at Neil Harbison. There's some nice pictures on there that he's drawn himself, and there's also some more information about the guy himself. So, this is just one technology. Thinking about the future, the collaboration between man and mach machine is obviously growing ever stronger. We have driverless cars, automated delivery drones, all being tested at this moment. In terms of the future, technology, automated intelligence, is going to be larger and larger part of your lives. Hopefully, there will be technologies such as the one you've seen today that will dramatically change your life for the greater benefit. I'd like you to take that away with you today. Think about technologies that you'd like in the future, maybe that haven't been produced yet. And I'd like to say thank you for your time today. Hopefully you found this informative. And hopefully you've taken something away from it today. Thank you very much and goodbye.